All right, so we've got all our parts here to finish up the assembly on our do-it-yourself power project. We got the breakout panel for our 24-pin ATX power supply to banana connectors. However, I'm not going to use the internal banana connectors on these. I actually decided to get some ring connectors and attach those to the screws on the underside. So that's what we're going to do. So first things first, we need to thread the holes we just drilled with our risers. These came with it so that you can do things underneath it. And safety security things, there's no contact. So we've already drilled the holes after we marked them off. Just threading the risers through at this point. Aluminum is pretty easy to work with. Just thread right through, thread right up. <clears throat> as long as you have the right size drill bit, it helps. All right, so we have our risers seated now. It's time to make sure. Everything fits up. So we'll take the screws out because we just used those so that we can see the risers. <sighs> Get the feeling that corner is going to be troublesome. Which, in that case, you know, hey, three out of four corners. <laughs> target for good. It's kind of an awkward place to put the hole, but I didn't feel like taking the power off and doing it the right way. <laughs> Actually, it lines right up. Cool. Awesome. Fretting for nothing. All right, so everything lines up, looks good. So yeah, next thing next is we need to strip out our leads. <clears throat> Go through each of these and put some ring connectors on our leads, wire these up, and then I'll permanently mount it in there and we'll check back in a bit. All right, another quick update here. So we have our uh, front panel dashboard here so that we have these plug-ins here on the front panel. So we'll have 12 volt here and here, five volt, three volt. This is just an access in case I need to run any cable through that. And then uh, the ATX 12 volt. These will be two independent 12 volts that'll run off this power supply. And then the main bus that's running through the 20 amp fuse on here, I'll mount to the top of the case. So there'll be four 12 volt DCs out. Three independent, one separate from the other one. Just about there. These are going nicely. All right, so we finished up our front connector panel. We're gonna attach to the front of our PC. We'll have to solder our leads to these. So if you're somebody who runs away from a soldering iron, this is not for you. The sooner you embrace the soldering iron and solder, it's 
make your life much easier. So we're gonna get some masking tape, cut it out and fit it on here. <clears throat> we'll just use a simple little X-Acto knife here and then we'll label it what's what and we'll check back. Right, so we're done with our front panel here. We've masked it up and we've labeled it. So on the right side, we'll have our ATX power supply, which is a 12 volt. We'll have a 12 volt output and then a five volt and a 3.5 volt. The 12 volt I believe is 30 amp. And then from our other power supply, which is just a 12 volt 20 amp, we'll have these two outputs on here. And then we're gonna put our main track power bus we're going to mount those banana connectors on the top of the case and keep them separate from these. All right, so we have our panel all soldered up. Got our wire connections all soldered to the banana connectors in the back here so we're ready to install and mount we'll have three 12 volt one independent and one 5 volt and one 3.5 volt rail this side over here is 30 amp while these two 12 volt outputs are 20 amp fully assembled it is ready to go we just need to mount it on our, our motherboard panel here, breakout panel, and then we will mount it in our case, hook up the last two remaining banana connectors and switch, and we'll be ready to power up. So we're just using the 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt. No need for the negative 12 volt, we don't need that for anything. And then the, our front panel here, this will be the 12 volt from the ATX power supply, 5 volt, 3 volt, and then the two independent 12 volt, 20 amp connections on this side over here will come from our independent power supply on this side. We're going to hook up two independent banana connectors on the top part of the PC case that will be running through this 20 amp fuse here for protection. And we'll check back All right, guys, so I wanted to go over the power supply unit that we're using for our train PSU. So for our train system here, we just simply just pulled out this Aspire ATX uh, 2.0 uh, power supply at 600 watt, 12 volt, and it's actually dual 12 volt compliant. So the 3.3 volt rail that we'll have is 34 amps. That five volt rail is 36 amps and they're 12 volt one and two respectively, uh, 18 and 20 amp. So the cool thing is it's got an adjustable uh, knob here for the, the fan so that you can, you know, turn it up and down if it gets hot. So we'll put some sensors in here later on and we'll be able to tell the heat, detect the heat and adjust accordingly. All right, so we're gonna mount this back in here, mount the motherboard tray and we'll check back here in a bit. All right, doing a quick walkthrough here. Got everything plugged in. Everything's wired up. Everything's soldered. It is the moment of truth. So, quick run through, run down before we try and power on. Um, this is the power to the secondary power that's 12 volt, 20 amp. And this is the main bus out. That will go to the tracks. Then on the front panel is our ATX power supply. And for that, we use this benchtop power breakout board that takes a 24 pin ATX power supply and breaks out power, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt. And then we have a protection circuit here for our secondary power running through a 20 amp fuse. And that's what this is right here. Quick run down to the front panel. So these are two 12 volts from our independent power supply, and this is the 12 volt from the ATX. 5 volt, 3 volt from the ATX. So, all right, moment of truth.
right, so that's our independent power. <clears throat> Secondary, that one comes on. That one's just fine, obviously. <clears throat> And then for our ATX power, that switch, to turn that on, this is in the back here. We're powered up, the fans are powered up. Bench power board's on. And we have some banana cables plugged into the five volt. And I'm just running that straight to a voltmeter and we're coming out at 5.24 volts so looking good we got fan power in the back here to draw the air out dissipate any heat and also a blowhole fan on the top dissipate any heat from the power supply that it will generate and call that a success I will say do not buy these banana clips. They're like $9 off Amazon. They're complete junk and garbage. So out of this whole project, that was one thing that <clears throat> really was irritating. Those things are the junk. So at any rate, thanks for watching. <clears throat>